Hello everybody, welcome back to class. We are going to continue our language arts lesson today and we are going to be learning about point of view. So today's objective, I'm going to write it on the board for us all to see, is to distinguish your own point of view from that of the narrator or those of the characters. Also, another objective we're going to have today is to identify the speaker or narrator in this election. Um, now, I'd also like to go over our I can statement for the day. So, um, today's goal I can recognize the first person point of view and third person point of view. I can use text evidence to help recognize the point of view to determine who is telling the story. So, what we first need to go over is what is point of view? Point of view is who is narrating the story or who is telling the story. I'm going to use POV for point of view. So this is who is telling the story. Um, so today we are going to discuss two important point of views. We're going to be discussing the first person point of view and the third person point of view. So let's, I'm going to make a little chart for everybody. This is going to be our description. And then we're going to talk about any key words or text evidence that will help us identify our point of view in a text. So for first person, when we're reading a story with first person point of view, we are going to be reading it from the point of view of somebody in the story. So it is a character telling the story. So a character Anybody have any questions so far? No? Okay, awesome. So a few keywords that we can look at in our text that will help us identify the first person point of view. We're going to have I, me, my, our, us, mine. Um, let's see if there's any more. We. So anytime that we see any of these words in a text, it's a good indicator that we're reading something from the first person point of view. The other point of view that we're going to go over today is third person. When we read a story from the third person point of view, the narrator who is telling the story is not a part of the story at all. So it's the opposite of first person, where we have a character who's in the story. The narrator is not a part of the story. Okay. Now some keywords and text evidence that'll help us identify the third person in any of our stories. Some of these keywords might be he. She, they, their, um, them. Okay, so once again, anytime that we see any of these key words, you might see some other ones that I didn't list, it, list, in it, list as well. That's going to be a good indicator that we're reading a story that is written in the third person point of view. 
So again, point of view is who is telling the story. So we either have a, char a character in the story telling the story, or we've got a narrator who is not a part of the story. All right, does anybody have any questions? Okay. All right, so let's put this into practice. Let's read a story, and I want us all to listen as we're reading. I want you to listen for any of these key words as text evidence or any of these key words. So we're going to be reading a story that we all know and love, The Three Little Pigs. You all have it on in front of you at your desk. Let's read aloud. And I want you to use pointer fingers and follow along as I read it aloud as well. And remember, we're listening for textual evidence. And then we're going to decide, is this story written in first person or third person? Thumbs up if you understand what we're going to be doing. Thumbs in the middle if you're not sure. Thumbs down if you have no idea what we're doing. OK, awesome. The Three Little Pigs. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who lived in a village with their mother and father. The time soon came for them to move out. The first pig decided to build a house herself out of straw. Soon, a wolf came walking by. When he saw the first pig, Little pig, little pig, let me come in, he said. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, replied the pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, growled the wolf. And he began to blow so hard that the straw blew away. So let's stop there. Now I want us to see, did we find any text evidence that'll let us know, is a character in the story telling the story? Or is a narrator not a part of the story? So we have, I want you to look at the second line. Who lived in a village with their mother and father. So we've got there right here. The time soon came for them to move out. And then the bottom of the second paragraph, we have when he saw the first pig. So based off of our text evidence from this passage, I think it's safe to say that we are reading from the third person point of view. The person narrating the story is not a part of the story at all. He's completely out of the story. However, I want you to turn that paper and we have another version of the three little pigs. So again, I want everyone following along reading out loud with me. We're going to read this version and we're going to be listening for our text evidence to see is this version also third person, or have we moved on to first person? Okay. Everybody knows the story of the three little pigs, or at least they think they do, but I'll let you in on a little secret. Nobody knows the real story, because nobody has ever heard my side of the story. I'm the wolf, Alexander T. Wolf. You can call me Al. I don't know how this whole big bad wolf thing got started, but it's all wrong. Maybe it's because of our diet. Hey, it's not my fault if wolves eat cute little animals like bunnies and sheep and pigs. That's just the way we are. If cheeseburgers were cute, folks would probably think you were big and bad too. But like I was saying, the whole big bad wolf thing is all wrong. The real story is about a sneeze and a cup of sugar. So I'm going to stop us right there. I want us to look at the text evidence from that passage. So the second line, we have, I'll let you in on a little secret. So we've got I, I'm, let's go ahead and add I'll up here. I'll let you in on a little secret. Nobody has ever heard my side of the story. Oh, we've got my right here. I'm the wolf. Well, there we go, right there. I'm the wolf. A character in the story is telling the story. So this version of the text is written in first person. So based off of our textual clues and that he says, I'm the wolf, we can decide that it's first person. Does anybody have any questions? No? Okay. 
So what I'm going to have us do at this point, sorry, what I'm going to have us do is you're all going to get a little sheet of paper, a small strip of paper, and it's going to tell you which character you have. So you might have the wolf, you might have one of the three little pigs, the pig's parents, or your choice. You're going to get your little sheet of paper and I want you to create your own three little pig story. And I want you to use first person. So you are that character telling the story. So say you, you get the wolf. I want you to get creative and I want you to tell us why you blew the house down or why you were even going to the pig's house. Get as creative as you'd like. I'm excited to read these. Um, does anybody have any questions at this point, what we are doing? Okay. So I'm going to give us about 15, 20 minutes to write up our stories. If you finish early, feel free to pick a different character in the story and tell their side of their experience. So maybe you want to be the pig's parents. Well, why were you kicking them out and making them live on their own? Um, any of those we can we can get creative with. If you f feel free, go ahead write as many stories as you want. Um, just make sure you get one good story down to turn in before we go for the day. Um, and our exit ticket is I would like you to tell me a key word for either the first person or the second person. As you guys line up, you're going to come through and I'm going to tell you, okay, give me a third person keyword and you might say, hey, perfect. All right, so if everybody is ready and doesn't have any questions, we can go ahead and start our first person stories. Thanks.